Today we're going to be talking about William the Conqueror and the Norman Conquest of England. Let's start off with some background information. First of all, England. England was settled by the Saxons, the Angles, and the Danes. These are three groups of Germanic tribes that had been pushed into the Roman Empire by the Huns and the Mongols. And at this point in history, the King of England's name is King Edward. The other part of information that we need to know about is Normandy. Normandy is located in northern France. In a little bit, we'll be looking at a map to help you visualize where both of these things are located at. And Normandy was settled by the Vikings and the Normans. At this point in history, it is ruled by William, the Duke of Normandy, who will ultimately be known as William the Conqueror. 1066. All of these events that we are going to be talking about happened in the year of 1066. There's not a lot of dates that I ask you to remember in my history class, but 1066 is one of the dates that you need to make sure that you remember. So, let's start in January. In January, King Edward of England died without an heir, and his brother-in-law, Harold, becomes the king. Harold felt like he was the rightful person to become the king, first of all, because he was related to King Edward, brother-in-law, and also because he is the son, or he was the son, of England's most powerful nobleman, and that was the name, and that was the Earl of Wessex. So Harold thinks that he's the rightful person to become the king of England, but not everyone agrees. William, the Duke of Normandy, who lives in France, thinks that he is the next lawful heir because King Edward was his cousin. Also, William, the Duke of Normandy, claims that King Edward promised William that he would get to be the next King of England. And William even claims that Harold agreed to that. There might have been force involved, but that's a different story. So, in the Middle Ages, who did everyone go to when they had a problem? That's right, the Pope. So, William of Normandy goes to the Pope, well, he requests permission from the Pope to attack England and claim the land for his own. The Pope gives him permission. So William starts building a fleet. Remember, England is an island. France is close to England, but you have to cross the water in order to get to England. So William starts to build a fleet and he prepares to attack England, but his fleet gets stuck in the harbor for the whole summer because the wind is blowing the wrong direction. Obviously in 1066, they didn't have motor boats, so they needed the wind to be able to get across the English Channel. During that time, Norway also attacks England. And when we look at the map, I'll show you where all of these things are located. So Norway goes and attacks England, and Harold has to go and defend England from the Norse people. And he wins the Battle of Samford Bridge. And finally, in September, the wind changes and William is able to cross the English Channel, and he lands at Pevensey Bay. So Harold and his army, who was just fighting the people from Norway, has to rush across England to meet William, and that's when the famous battle that we're going to be talking about takes place. So here's a look at our map. So first of all, we have England here. That is where Harold is currently the king, and he is starting out, so he's the king, and he rules here. Here's where Normandy is. This is the location of northern France. The bayou right here, this is going to be an important um, city that you need to know about. 
and Hastings right here is going to be another important city that we need to know about. So Norway comes and attacks England over here. In William sails across the English Channel and lands here. So there's our map. Those were all the things are taking place. So now you are going to pause this video and you're going to watch this video in class. After this video is over, then you will resume this video and continue on where we left off. All right, so I'm assuming you've watched the video that tells you about the Battle of Hastings. So now let's talk about what happens after the battle. After the battle, William marched west across the Thames River and attacked London from the north. And William was crowned King of England on Christmas Day in 1066. So just like Pepin the Short got crowned King of France on Christmas Day, we have another king who is getting crowned on Christmas Day. So William the Conqueror is named King of England, Christmas Day, 1066. Then William establishes his kingdom in England. He orders a survey of all of the people and it is recorded and known as the Doomsday Book. And that survey takes, is finished in 1086. And he uses that survey, the Doomsday Book, to decide how much tax the Lords owe. William doesn't stay in England though. He goes back to Normandy and he leaves Obo, the Bishop of Bayou, in charge of England. And then, later on, the Bayou Tapestry is created. And the Bayou Tapestry tells the story of the Battle of Hastings. The Bayou Tapestry tells the story of the Battle of Hastings. The Bayou Tapestry tells the story of the Battle of Hastings. The Bayou Tapestry actually isn't a tapestry because the things are just embroidered onto the cloth instead of actually being woven into the fabric. But it's significant because it was created shortly after the battle. So we could actually say that this tapestry is a primary source because it tells the story of what happened. So now we are going to take a look at this famous tapestry. So this is one part of the famous tapestry. And as you can see, there's a battle scene embroidered on it. And all of the different scenes are explained on this website. It's quite fascinating, all the different things that happened. So just for example, this says, the violence continues as men hack and spar each other to death. Harold's brothers both die in the fighting. So if we go back to the contents of the tapestry, it starts with Edward and Harold at Westminster, and then it goes all the way through to the battle being over in the Battle of Hastings. So this tapestry was referenced in the other video that you watched, and you saw several little clips of that. So this is William the Conqueror, important date to remember, 1066, when William the Conqueror conquered England.